guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you Wig Studio One for sending me this piece to review. She also provides a support group through Facebook. It is private. You can search it under Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. We'd love to have y'all there. Today, um, I have a little history with Beltress. When I first started wearing wigs, I didn't like the knotting and the color was too dramatic and drastic for what I was used to. I never bought them again. They didn't work for me. I thought the colors just did not work. Well, Andrea sent me this piece to review and it has now become my favorite wig. And I actually have her um, in two other colors. So, this one, this is an English toffee. I like the color, it's not as dimensional. And you would think I would love the color because it's not as dark here, but this one's still my favorite color. Um, she, this color, I'm gonna do, I have it in a sugar cookie too. What is it? I don't remember the name, but I have that one too. Very, very realistic density. Like no permatease, it's just so realistic. Let's go over her cap. She is open wefted and she fits a little large on me. My head is 21 inches around, but I tape her at the front and at the nape and I never have to worry. She is a left mono part, which means you can part her only to the left and it looks like scalp in that section. And then she has a lace front. I mean, this really looks good. This color is really a good one. The lace front's good. She has super thin ear taps, very thin. And it, with, they do have metal stays, but they're very, very thin. She has bra sliding adjusters. A little bit of an extended nape. This piece is heat friendly and I think I'll like it because I have worn her so much, probably more than any other wig that I own, synthetic, and her fibers are still good. And I think it's because of the length. She doesn't uh, just rub too terribly much. But I wouldn't put heat on her. I love this curl pattern. Okay, I'm gonna do a spin for you, but before I do, from the hairline to the tip of my chin is eight inches and my neck is four. So when I put the measurements up here, you can kind of gauge on where this piece will fall on you. Okay, let's go out and look at this color in natural lighting. All right guys, I hope this helped. Like and subscribe.